Welcome to the Barber Game Podcast. I go by the name of DJ Meek Chops. Hey, hey, people. This is Smith. What it do? This is Marcus. What's good, everybody? This is your boy Merv Mill on the check-in, and this is the Barber Game Podcast. How was y'all weekend? Still going. <laughs> Busy. It's that early Sunday. Yeah. Shit, I started at 7.30 the last couple of days. What? I'm in there early. Oh, at the shop? Why Get, so early? Getting it in. Oh, yeah, yeah. You beasting. <laughs> I don't know. Why 7.30, though? Why not, like, 8? Because I'm up, bro. Like, today, I was up at 5.30. I went to the gym. I just, okay. I just be up, bro. So, I'm like, why sit at the house just... Waiting for waiting, time. You know that's a, that's yeah. a good point, man, because I, I, I actually uh, put out this this uh, this uh, post one time, and I was like, what would you do if you woke up at 5 every day? Well, I, I did it for, like, a week, yeah, and I just found myself at 7 o'clock just like, damn. Is it, is it, yeah. You, you get know? more done, I feel like, you know? You definitely you get more done. You get a head Way start. More yeah. done. You get a head start, but. And I just wake up The only thing too. you do like after, you like, arm. after you clean your car or. Just do stuff that you wouldn't be doing. The you know? whole everybody sleeps, so you just got everything to yourself. You know everything, what I'm the streets, quiet. Is, yeah, yeah, it's quiet out there. There's some stuff you obviously can't do. But I actually never you thought know? about just going to work. <laughs> 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 That's the one thing See, I didn't consider. Here's the thing: our day showing up though, because you're gonna be there extra early, and if you're just there and they're not pulling up, oh yeah, that, oh my bad. Was out late, especially Friday, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you're kind of risking it, you know? So if yeah. I see somebody on my schedule that I'm like, you might be going out, I'm just going to just remove that, you know? You don't mean that. <laughs> we going to yeah. free that spot up for you. I <laughs> I called him. I, yeah, I yeah, call or text him, him. I'm like, just confirming, letting you know. That's a good yeah. thing. Tell going to hold you. <laughs> this morning, I was up at 6 a.m. I seen. Like, what are you doing? I seen. I seen what I seen, are you I seen. doing awake? I'm like. This is the time I wake up. I don't know. I seen the Instagram post at like 6.03. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was up. I'm like, oh, he's up. Yeah. I'm up. <laughs> She's like, take your ass back to sleep. I'm like, all right. So I go to sleep. Yeah. And like 8.50 wake up. I'm like, to 8.50. <laughs> <laughs> I... You got to have that alarm, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I can't. I, I got to have an alarm. Yeah. If I ain't got that alarm, it's a wrap. It's hot. Yeah. I feel it. Because I, I wake up every day at 6. Uh-huh. And then I just be chilling. And then when I go back to sleep. Yeah, that'll happen. It's that'll happen. pretty much a wrap. Yeah. So, yeah, that's exactly how I it get away with it because I leave the TV on and the TV keeps me awake. Let's talk about this ambition. <laughs> yeah, man. I think I think I think waking up in the early early in the morning is part of ambitious, right? Being ambitious. It is. So, it is. So. It's, yeah. it's I feel like we have the luxury of controlling our time. You just have to be disciplined enough. You know what I mean? We we can see our schedule. Most people, when they're working nine to five, they're told when to take a break. They told when they have to take lunch. We have control yeah. over our schedule, our day. So if we get to wake up at five a.m., hey, if, if you can be at the shop that early, be at the shop that early. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mind it. I think I'm about to keep it like that. Honestly, yeah. I'm about to keep That's it early. Silly. Yeah. Because it's like I'm not doing anything anyways. You know what I'm saying? What am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I I wake up that early, but I will not go to the shop that early because that traffic in the morning, I'm not I'm not sitting in it. No, oh, yeah, I'm like I'm not sitting in right it down traffic. the road. It seemed like that traffic be still popping around ten. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't stop. <laughs> that joint be good until like two o'clock in the afternoon, and then yeah. coming back at three. It's, so it's yeah. like, oh, <laughs> then you going back the other way, <laughs> like coming back. Oh, I have yeah, to you, do I five and then four or five, and it's always no ma I can never leave early enough. It's always is something. It, is there no back road or nothing? That's no, crazy. No, not not to Kirkland. It, to From where she's at, yeah. Oh yeah, to Kirkland. I forgot. Yeah, yeah to Woodenville, Yeah, because I can take Highway Nine from Everett, but not to Kirkland. Have you ever thought about I five and then Lake City Way? Yeah, but then it's a backtracking. It is. Yeah, it's back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's I have to take yeah. four or five. Yeah. Well. I could tell you this. This goes right into our topic, though. Uh, when you're waking up early and doing all of that. Mm -hmm. um, ambition. We talk about... Drive. It's pretty harsh, but we talked about the lazy barber last week. Right. So we're talking about the ambitious barber this the week. The W barber. You know, <laughs> I, one thing I forgot to throw in yesterday is, like, remember I was saying per perception of lazy? It could be considered efficient. You know what I mean? So I, like, yes. I forgot, to, I forgot to add that about last week. 
You know what I mean? Because some people are like lazy. But it's Productive like, lazy. You still, get, you still getting shit done. It's like, it's okay. So, yeah. When you right. actually do go, yeah. you, you just really you still, make a lot happen. I'm just saying like, you lazy, like so, like I don't know. They had this thing. No, lazy productive, tiger. productive, lazy. That's what I no, call lazy, myself. Lazy, yeah. Oh yeah, you didn't mention that. <laughs> <in the last laughs> we, didn't either. we didn't say that. We didn't say. That. I think people get on the on the defense the whole time. You know? I think we all can be lazy at times, yeah, man. Of but you know, it, it all comes down to like what you're trying to get done. Exactly. You know, like if you know you got bills to pay, man, you you can't be slacking. A lot of people blaming on all these different things, but. Thanks. You know, like like Marcus said, if he go into the shop at seven thirty, he obviously putting that out in the universe. Like, yeah. yo, come holla at me. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm already ready at seven thirty. And yeah. the people that you are gonna get, like, it's gonna be them early morning casts, like them older casts. And it's probably. a lot of people like yeah. that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got yep. booked quick. And I was like, damn. I was almost thinking about taking it off, and I was already booked. I was like, fuck, I gotta. Yeah, ride I mean, this there, out. There, there's <laughs> no. I gotta ride this out. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas booked quick. Hell yeah. And they I was, was on just, it. Bro, and so I was like, I could just cancel, but I was like, ah, you know, fuck it, you know, just see what happens. Yeah. And there was all, everybody showed up too. I was like, cool. That's what made it cool. Everybody showed up. So yeah, I had like five before 10, before anybody showed up. I already got five or six. Before 10 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I got the whole day. Yeah, I don't know, you know, I'm, I know that it's like a, most shops are open at like 10. Yeah. But that ain't technically like early. Hell no. That ain't early at all. Hell There's nah. a big market for people that want to work early and late. You know what I'm saying? If you want to stay open to like 10, 11. Yeah. People Barbershops do typically stay open later than most businesses. Yeah. That's one thing I noticed. Seven. I mean, shit. But know. also it, where he's at, he's right next to a gym. And, and the mall. And the mall. Yeah. So a lot of people are going to want to, if they got... If they go into the gym, they go and they see the shop open. They probably gonna want to come in, you know, before they go and start their day at work. Right. Yeah. Mall. The mall don't it, even open till ten though. Like, exactly. It, oh. it don't sound like some like successful people say, but I'm more of a night owl. I like I like to be on a night owl tip. I don't. But like, Why? I don't know. I just you just get more energy at, as soon as I'm out of work. I'm like, oh yeah, it's time to. You know what I mean? But like, what if you just cut hair to like midnight? You know what I'm saying? There's people coming, for sure. Oof. I don't know if I could do that. Started like, you know, six. Started seven or five, you know? You five just, to like midnight. You just in the shop watching the sun go down. <laughs> but niggas are coming, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're watching. You're not just I mean, I've done twiddling it. your thumbs. I've you know? done it before, but. Because if everything closed at seven, nobody can get a cut after seven. Money is the motivation at that point. Yeah. Facts, you, know? you might be able to charge more. It's that nighttime premium. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nowhere else to go. Yeah. Listen, it's different if you're staying later than your schedule, then you can st- uh, charge light- uh, nighttime premium. But when you start, let's say, 6 p.m. until 12 p.m., that's mm. regular hours. You- Dang, these are, mm. this is I game right here. That's real game, though. I mean, like, back to the yeah. ambitious barber is like, that's a different way. Like, part of being ambitious is, is being able to think outside the box. Yeah. Create yourself a market that you would succe- succeed in and nobody else is even thinking about. Right. Yeah, when you when you started doing the Sunday thing, right. I thought that that, like, trust me, there was no barbershops that I knew of that were yeah. open on Sundays mm-hmm. at the time. Right. I thought that that was very... It was literally Tuesday that was a game Saturday. Changer. A lot of barbershops are Tuesday through yeah. Saturday. Right. A lot well, of Monday salons are right. Tuesday through Saturday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, like, if I'm open late, I can charge pretty much, you know. Yeah. Because nobody's doing it, you know. Yeah. So if like, I, even if that is my schedule, I probably would take advantage of the opportunity and That's charge I, more, I, anyways, I, just because I'm the only one in the whole city doing this. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I think that's what makes more. you are ambitious. Like, if I was to do that, you know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? I'm, no, however, I wouldn't you're doing cut, the early. Yeah, the early, the early side, the early side, yeah. That's ambitious as hell because I should like, be taxing her. Nobody else is doing it, though. Man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, no, you don't so the first, tax. the first two and a half is going to be an extra just 20%. Just let it ride for a little bit, and then once you get nice <laughs> extra 20%. Yeah. yeah. I think it just feels better, too, man. I hate, like, running behind when I'm, like, Facts. like getting at the shop right when it's time to just put the clippers straight to work. I think or like being, if I come late, like I'm five minutes late already off the off the rip, yeah, and you're it, just it, running it, behind all day. It kind of like just drags the that beginning of the day out. You know what I'm saying? Um, mentally, it's just it's just best to get to work early. You know what I mean? Like that's part of that ambitious barber. You got to be on time. Like that on time shit is for real. Yeah. You know. Uh, <laughs> back to what Merv was saying is like punctuality. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Punctuality. Like so, like if you. And you know, being on time is not being punctual, right? So if you're on time, you're late. If you're early, you're on time, right? And 
being early technically gives you the opportunity to do those things, which you were just saying, you know, maybe clean up my station. I, I cleaned it up yesterday, but I still left a little bit of hair. In the yeah, area. you noticed that. Stuff. Yeah, like, so um, clients are going to notice that. So it's like the ambition bar, ambitious barber wants to make sure he's perceived as such, professional. Right? I got some body language. When, when, like, if the, someone don't show up and then they, like, do something that time and so they're just chilling on their phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm guilty of that. By the shop, way. the trash is just overflowing. They're just waiting on the next exactly. one. You, know, you could easily just, you got 30 minutes, you were I, power time. You know I've I mean? always told barbers, don't eat at your station, go to the back and eat. Especially when it's. Oh, that's not. I don't get yeah, that's not no, sanitary. No, no, but. but no, forget sanitary. You just don't want to break hair, in front of clients. You hair just don't. floating around in the shop. <laughs> that too. I'm just saying, you don't want to break in front of clients. Um, so you know, most of the time, like when a guy's not busy, how important is promoting? I know for an ambitious barber. I know. I was saying, I was like, like can't it never stops. Low key, it never as stops. A, as, a, as an ambitious barber, if you're like the you know, I don't want to be like sitting there just doubling down and just throwing myself to the wolves right here. But I, I try. Like I said this last time, I I really really want to cut hair the entire time I'm at the shop. You've seen it. I think you've seen it. I think even you've seen a little glimpse of it, but it was only on a Thursday, so it wasn't like mm-hmm. to the to the level of the way I want to be all the time. This dude right here. Has told me, I don't even know, how, like a thousand, maybe five. I should have it tatted. That's how many times he said it. You gotta lead by example. And as an owner, I find myself constantly battling um, whether I want to just be like the person that's always trying to take care of the shop because I know that other people are not gonna care as much as me. I just know it's. It's never going to be. It's impossible yeah. for it to happen. Unless you own the shop, you're just not going to care as much as any one of us in this room right now, right? Okay. However, I want to cut all day. So then maybe they say, well, maybe I want to do what 80% what this dude does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's hard to sit there and uh, watch somebody make money all day and not get inspired. I know. Right. <laughs> You'd be like, man, this dude been eating also, all day. For real. you going to get hype at some point. There's but no. also, you can lead by example when you're not busy to take and walk in. Right. That's what I was going to say. My, that's the easiest way to get a client, bro. Take a walk and hand yeah. them a card. You know what I'm saying? Easiest way. Or you can walk yeah. them Especially through Especially if it's it. a good haircut. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Appreciate they're they're going to book with you. You show them how to book. Yeah. Walk them through it. Like, Turn it's easy. Boom, boom, boom. That's the easiest way. That, yeah. I actually was at the, uh, I took a barber to the mall and it was like, pass my car. I'm like, Sean, I'm like, it's not all Instagram, bro. You know, you can, <laughs> you can really yeah. hand out a card. Like, so we're just yeah. walking to the yeah. mall, five, 10 cars, you know what I'm saying? Easy. That's dope. Easy. That's the best two ways I feel like to promote is just cars and walking. I've never promoted. Walkings. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> think you've ever passed out a card, huh? No, I have when we went as a team, but even then right. I barely did it. Well. I believe in just speaking things into existence, and it happens for me every single time. That's it. I, I, you be I, posting, though. You, I don't post no, haircuts. I'm talking about you be posting in terms of like, yeah. I know that's, that means, a, that means. A, you be posted up. Talking about you posted, what do you mean? Like, you, shop. You be at the shop. Be at oh, the, yeah. And I'm you like, don't do a bunch of running around and leaving. Nah, no. No. Just, no. You, that's another thing. That's I think, another way. I think, you in the shop all the time, yeah. not in the web. People just seeing you every time. They come exactly. In. I'm, yeah. I'm talking constant. to a lot of I'm people. Con- I don't, and I, I greet them, I talk to them. And I actually sit next to them when I talk to them. I don't sit in my chair when they're talking to me. I stand up so we're leveled. It's just, I think, a certain amount of professionalism. That's that, a little bit of etiquette. Yeah, yeah sure. it's just that I feel like some people don't have. And then also, I'm always, a, the only time I'm not at the shop is when I'm on vacation. I'm always at the shop. I don't call out sick. I don't leave early for a, a a game or anything. I'm at the shop all yeah. the time. Hey, yeah. characteristics of an ambitious barber. Tell them, man. That's, even that's fine. even when I had court dates, I will tell them. Can <laughs> no we cap change? though. She no. I know. Can, yeah, yeah. She's not up here capping. Years. I watch. Like, can we change? That. Can we change the date for me? Because I'm working that day. Can we do on Monday? I'm off on Monday. Yeah. 
they yeah. will change dates for you if you ask them to. Yeah, when you set your schedule, the best thing to do is be consistent. Yeah. Uh, on the days that you actually at the shop. Yeah. Um, exactly. That's one of the most. For clients, don't, don't change it. You change it. Yeah, you switch you. it up it all the time. You. Now it's gonna take you mad longer to. You build a pattern. Yeah. You build a pattern that people get used to and they expect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's something that they organize their life around. Right. It's like Some how you have days off around. Yeah. Exactly. What you exactly. Just, they have a day. Oh, my barber's off on Monday. I'm off on Monday. Yeah. I make the whole day about this shit now. They like, always ask. I don't got to go to work. Like I, we have to I'm trying to just open up a day and just have it get flooded. Like, I want to have so many people who are just, I can go in and, you know, you, on a day off and just open it up a couple of days before. You off that, though. You off that. You in mm-hmm. that, you in the pocket, you know, 12, 12 years in, 11 years in? Yeah, 12. It's, it's, you're in that pocket where any day, there is no slow days. Mm-mm. Yeah, for yeah. There's no slow days for you. I, I, I but I like that. You know, I can't. When I do have a slow day, I'm like, this is weak. Me too. <laughs> I'm like, this I is hate weak. it. But it's like, I'm here for nothing right now. It, you know what I'm saying? Still, <laughs> like, I'm not making still any the, money. And that's why we need My money. mentality, though, because I'm supposed to be making money the whole time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be cutting hair every 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I so think I'm not doing that. Sometimes normal. them slow days can make you appreciate Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days. Oh, yeah. It, very much so. You know? I, I, I no, everybody be I down, bro. It look like everybody. Just be like, <laughs> I, hey, if I no got, one's cutting and you're all sitting bruh, there, bro, that's now that's the worst. I'll be like, we suck, man. We <laughs> yeah, like, we losing the game right now. We not, suck, bro. Suck. It's just it's like I God get damn, really, it's one L. I get that's, really anxious. When if we I'm all sitting, sitting here, I'm like, oh man. I get so much anxiety when I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I feel like I should be doing something. <laughs> There's nothing. You get nervous. Yeah, not nervous. It's just like I'm annoyed that I'm not doing anything. And I was like. Is there anything I have to buy for the house? Like, should I just leave right now? Like, last week, I called you. I was like, I'm taking the van. I got to pick up some panels, some yeah, yeah. roofing panels. Because I, I just needed to do something. And and it, and it I didn't even close out my day. I kept it open still. It's just that people didn't book yeah. during that time. Mm. What can I say? Uh, so what if somebody would have booked when you was in Everett? Uh, I would have called them and I would have rearranged it. She would have just hit a U-turn, turn back around. <laughs> I'm turning on the Drop everything. She would have got, got the, she would have got I, the. I, Turn on two the wheels in the front of the back I, I, I would have, I would have uh, used the slang, like, I'm down the street. I'll be right there. Yeah, and then they're sitting there later. 30 minutes later. Hey, they're on their phone anyway. Yo, that's another one, you know? We're Respecting t- the client's time sometimes, yeah. bro. The W yeah. barber. Yeah. That's definitely you gotta really. I got clients that'll come on lunch break, so if you running behind this and that, like you just wasted their whole break and they didn't get a cut, or you know, yeah, you got yeah. a rush cut, order late, you know, in trouble now, yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, don't book it on your lunch. I mean, that's I got people that do that, too, you know but, what I'm but, but I run on time, no, so a little bit on them too, though, but I know what you mean. Like, at least if you give me an hour, it's like you got an hour lunch, it's like you was expecting to sneak You're, in a couple of bites. I just hate them. being late for my appointments, bro. Like, I yeah, I, I, I take home. pride in making sure that I'm standing right there behind the chair when a person ready to get the haircut. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. even when I'm on my schedule, I keep my eye on the clock, and I'm like, all right, my client here Same. waiting. I don't even like for people to wait, like, two or three minutes for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just feels good to just stay on time. Yeah, it does. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? It just keep me motivated. It's like me against them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, now nah, y'all ain't catching me slipping. <laughs> it ain't my fault. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I think that uh, a lot of my clients know that too. Yeah. Like they know, like, all right, I know Merv is going to be ready. Yeah. So like, let me try to make but sure. But that's why I like I do that too, and that's why I can press them on being on exactly. time. Exactly. Like, I can press them like, yo, you know yeah. what's up? Yeah. It's not like I'm always late when you pull up and you know you got yeah. extra time and minutes now. Nah, it's I'm just ready. like you I'm respect just, their I'm time. On you exactly. You know what I mean? And if I'm always sh- late, then they have kind exactly. of room to be late too. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So I, I have it both ways, but like usually like <laughs> people just be late, bro. And I just when they show up late. Do you, give you shoot them? Do you just be like, I can't get you? I just cut them anyway. This yeah. dude knows. I I'll take all of them. They'd be like, I'm 30 minutes late. I'm like, I'm cutting you. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'll I can't do it. Do it. I, I'll, make, I'll make them. I'll, I'll make them yeah. rebook. Because they're not respecting my time, bro. You yeah. just, you just come on, bro. I feel you, but it's yo, like, do you ever see a like? Do you have barbers? Or, you know, have you ever seen barbers like they'll have appointments sitting there and be chilling, taking their time? I'm talking about they cutting and their appointment is in the shop. Yep. And they be waiting for like 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. They could, you know what I mean? And the barber's still cutting the pre- previous client. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it don't seem like they be in a rush at all to like hurry up and get the next person in. 
that person who's waiting is probably gonna be late next time because they know what's up now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, but <laughs> it's not that they. Know how would you happen. feel though? Sometimes, it, it ha- like I don't know. What happens to you like twice it's a, it's or three a, times? Situation or, or four? You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess a year, a year's worth of bookings. You know what I'm saying? It might be a couple. I, there's times. some people, bro. There's barbers that just don't run on time. I know that's what I'm like, saying. They're all at all like behind. They don't because they don't know how to cut and talk. And their clients are going to show up I just up don't late. even think Sometimes it's a consciousness, though. I don't, I don't think they... It's not about talking. It's more so like... It is talking. Because you step away when you have an argument... Turn the clippers a, off. That's one with situation. another barber. That's just one situation. Sometimes no. other I stuff. I literally have that's clients just that showed up 30 minutes late. And like I said, you're 30 minutes late. My next one's here. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parking lot somewhere rolling up. Who, so who are you taking first? If the dude's on time and the other guy's late... The, I'm taking the last... You're taking the late guy? Oh yeah, I you're, don't. You're, you're I, be I make him wait. See that? That's what I'm saying. Like stop, stop, stuff, stuff always, like if that. If he's actually in, if he's actually in the shop, if he's not, I'm like, yo, I gotta get him. In. I, I still get you, but you know what I mean. Now I'm pushing my next dude. Mm-hmm. Next See, I'd rather you're just piecing their time in too, though. Yeah, no, I'm just telling you, like, yeah, what I do, situational. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I do is I'd be like, yo, one of one of the guys. Yeah, yeah, can I'll, get do, you. I'll yeah, somebody else. I'll can do get that. One of the guys can get you, bro. Like I'm not. I'm not about to do that. Yeah, I ain't about to. But you do have certain clients that are just not getting cut. Like you know what Yeah, I mean? and I tell them to rebook. Mm-hmm. You know? Too. Hey, man, I appreciate that. Facts. Just rebook. Yeah. Because if I take a dude that's like 15, 20 minutes late, I'm running behind the rest of my day. So I'm by any break stress because I'm like, no, I'm like, I used to do that though. Like, because I can knock a haircut out in 15 minutes. Yeah. So I'll bust that up, that time up. I, really I, I do that. You can assess the haircuts. You can look nah, at the man. person but and then if they have a cul de sac and they want just <laughs> the three all over. Oh, yeah, I'll knock that out. That's what I'm saying. You I don't got too many of those, though. I don't, though. Even have cold I don't got those. So, oh, yeah, I'm not that. <laughs> cold this side? You could be 25 minutes late. I got oh. you, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you ain't getting no fade. You get hey. no one and a half oh, all over. Right, 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 right. Saying, right. Like, if you can assess the haircuts. Now, if it's like a ball fade with the My beard clients got and beards and ball fade. Yeah, that's all. Bro, it seems like every single client I got has a beard. I'm like, damn, bro. And everybody's getting the fade. Like, it's just a skin fade, bro. Skin. Fade. In the beard, crispy lineup, razor, yeah. everyone, every, every, yeah. the whole nine, like yeah. two slits in the eyebrows. All yeah, bro. And then when they, but when they say I want a shadow fade, two to a three to a finger length, and just square up everything. Bro, I don't like doing minutes. shadow fades. Never I want. I hate doing shadow fades. I want to just now. push you to Back the ball. Back in the day, fade, they used bro. to be like, filthy though. Yeah, just come like, on, bro. What are we doing? Training wheels. The <laughs> that like, was cool. That's like training wheels for the ball fade. Like, yeah, come on, bro. Let's just hurry up and get here. It's irritating. What are we doing right now? You too scared? Yeah, exactly. What are you doing right now? When people say, like, I don't want it bald, like, just barely a little bit on the yeah. sides, I'm like, I don't get that. Yeah. It just don't make no sense. But, right, hey, It's a little it too is. ambitious. It's a l- <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Door um, control. What about door control? You know what I'm saying? Walk, someone walk in. Always greet them. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Seeing I what's going on and letting them know what's the shop system. If we doing a walk in, that's if highly doing, important. Yeah. Man. If we're not why, taking them right now, don't let them just be chilling in there. You know what I'm saying? Or right. let them know. It that's why, a, as a manager of a shop, you should be mindful who you put at the front by the. Door. I was just about to say seat placement. That's For what sure. I was just about yeah. to say it. Ma- it, it Ma- yeah. It matters on seat placement because whoever's in that front. Yeah, and you don't want nobody to tell it rude either. Or doesn't yeah. know how to talk. Rude. Like. We've sometimes, man, before. people, you don't have to be. So sometimes, man, you do have to go with the concept that clients, the customer's right. right. You know, we all heard that before. Customer's always right. Yeah. There's some people that, that be doing too much, though. So, you know, but that yeah, front door be direct, position. Be nice. Don't make them feel like an asshole. Don't make right. them feel like an idiot. Just yeah. explain to them very concise and just let, let them make the decision. For sure. Game should give it. I mean, I you don't, you don't need. Yeah, you should have had the. How do you do this shit? Uh, fucking uh, don't be a man. message. Right? What the fuck? Right. Message right here. There, there you go, right there. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> what would the trick stunt? For real, bro. Uh, Hi. Uh, do you have an appointment? Yes or no? Game. No. Okay. Um, unfortunately, right now we're booked and we're uh over. I mean, understaffed. Um, if you want to wait, you can wait for yeah. someone not to show up, or you can go on chop it up barbershop.com, book the appointment here, whatever. I'm not going to make a client ever feel dumb for walking in. Yeah. 
Like, Agreed, one hundred percent. That's it. Like, yeah, but, because it ain't their fault. I mean, how, that's, it's not their fault. Because how, that's it, a traditional. It, it doesn't say appointment only. So I do have to say this though. Mm. So when you're in a shop, especially this particular shop, this is how many chairs? Six, right? We can count them on one. Yeah. Damn man. Okay, six chairs. The entire shop is filled. This happens too many times. We don't have very many waiting seats, so all those seats is filled, and everybody's cutting, right? And then people are like, how long for the wait? Yeah, like, how long oh. for the wait? It's like, yeah, you're next, my boy. Come on, you see like, all these people? <laughs> Let me just keep my man out the chair. Yeah. I don't like to make people feel dumb. I don't know, that's though. That, like, that, that's, that's a cool question. A, yeah, just I mean, never because know. they there might, like, they might I, be I see three. y'all hella busy, but how yeah, yeah, long yeah. is the wait, though? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to sit here for an hour, and then you tell me, like, I'm still got to wait another hour. Maybe, maybe these people wait for one person. Who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's a legit question, but it's like, Sometimes I do be feeling like a little like, like you, we all hey, you'll hit him with the you'll hit him with the look around and be like ah um. yeah, <laughs> 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 um, and then you look at the clock like I'm trying to be ambitious. Right here. Like, I'm trying to be ambitious about like trying yeah. to get more money, but I, I, nah. And so what do you do? You just hit him with that. Mm, come back I just, later. I just say like, hey man, we we booked out for forever. Oh, hour so it's a good thing they asked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, even no. No, that's sit. a good. That's they a good even point know where though. Sit, though, like you know what I'm saying. So like, his, no, but they be like pressing the line. Like I, I'm not. Talking I know what you mean. I think they press the line. Like yo, but they want to get in like, right like, then. Like, like, bro, yeah. They walk in and they want to get straight in the chair. Yeah, what yeah. I'll do is I'll hand someone a car. I'm like, look, you can book and you can come back. So that way you ain't just sitting here for the next hour or two. Look for the next opening, and you can come back, bro. You like, know, that's like the I easiest. know it's Saturday and it's four o'clock when they did this. Oh, bro, yeah. That's what I said. So, I mean, so I still like, might take like, them, but you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it just depends what I'm doing. More like... Yeah. Yeah. Because that's an easy client. You take them after hours, too, and hit them a card, bro, they're, they're booking exactly. with you again easy. For sure. That's they're, they're, they see you going to Easy client. You easy just client. have to know when where the line is. Like, when a client comes in or calls, I had a client call, can you get me? Uh, I'll pay extra. Nope. No. It's, it's 5.30, and I'm booked out. Got a book. Uh, please, who are you? Well, they learn. They, no, no, no. But they learn, though. No, they, I understand. Because the next time they book. So they, they want to come right then, or they just want to be sometime at the end of your day? No, no. Right then. Right then. Uh, they want the skip line. Yeah. yeah. And oh, I'm like, yeah. I, I'm not, <laughs> no. Skip line? Like, I, I'm not going to let you bully yourself onto my schedule. That's not going to happen. So no. I, yeah. I I have one more thing about this because I, I wrote down a couple of notes, but complaining, right? So we talked about complaining in the last one. You complain all the time; it's not busy. You complain it is too busy. You complain the shop is dirty. Whatever you complain. I think uh, complaining is a negative trait. I think it's somewhat necessary if it's you're complaining to the right person, right? What? Hear me out. <laughs> when the niggas say hear me out, you know it's some bullshit hear going on. Let's <laughs> so, What? Just hear me out. <laughs> nah, hear me out. <laughs> like, what? That's how you know. If I'm complaining to just another barber, then it's like he don't got no control over it. Hey man, I don't I don't I can't stand nah, complaining, bro. It, it, I, I, it, I just can't I, me neither. I can't Low key. If I, you complain I gotta, about who, who you who, who's the right person? To, so like, like somebody that could do something about it. Like if I You can do something about it. I'm not talking about me complaining. <laughs> talking about somebody else complaining to me. Like, yo, man. Da, 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 da. Listen, yeah. uh, if, if I can you do complain, about it, then cool. If you complain and you come to me and I give you a solution and you, you don't still, take it, you don't take it, that's you still different. complain. That's different. That's I don't, that's different. don't that's different. have time for you. That's different. That's different. That's not exactly what I'm saying. But Bro, I, we're dealing with mm-hmm. grown people, though. Like, I, how many, yeah. how, how complicated is the day to day? Like, I'm just saying, like, you, some people. You talking to the wrong person. You dig what I'm saying? How about like, you just Google your problem? Just Google it, figure it Google out. Google it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just don't understand why I mean, you, some, why people. So listen, it's a business. If you complain, end, it's still a business. If you complain about everything, you have other no, problems. No, 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 no. Everything is different. I ain't, we ain't, I ain't say, I ain't say complain about everything. Because say, are you, are you com- trying to just create some situation? No, I just feel like there's certain, so like, it's a business at the end of the day, and there's a hierarchy, and there's things that need to be Gone through. If you complain about your chair, then fix chair it. Don't work. Well, 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 chair don't work. I, I think that you you gotta like. I know what you're saying. Um, 
I know where your context is coming from, but at the same time, it it depends on the your job, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If you're working at a warehouse job and it's too hot, yeah, you can go to somebody and complain about it because it's, it's you, a, you don't know what AC is. You can't change it. But it's who a, are you talking to? Like, if I'm talking to this person, that sits. You're talking to the person. I, no, I'm saying that works the line with me, then I'm complaining to the oh, person. Oh, yeah, yeah. You I need to go to the talk to the person. That's what, so I might get, you might go a little too much, but Jordan complained for six years until you got Scottie Pippen, right? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You got to complain to the right person. If you're not in. I think Jordan was demanding for six years. <laughs> he complained. <laughs> a little different. I'm tired of beating by the motherfucking bad boys and the motherfucking Celtics and all the mother niggas. It is what it is. Yeah. You got to complain to. Well, or yeah, at least. But we talk talking about the person. uncomplainers today. No. <laughs> that was last episode. I just feel like. We're talking like, about the guys that. Don't saying, complain. Like, you know, that, that rather not I'm complain. Saying, as an, as an and do something person, about it. If you see a problem and you see somebody. Who's able to take care of said problem? You this, say it, it must be something no. on your mind, no, bro. No, no. There's like, got to be like, something specific. This person is, this right is now. specific. You're talking about this somebody. I have uh, <laughs> without saying their definitely, name. Definitely, you trying not to say somebody. No, like this. There's one guy. He uh, <laughs> I have a perfect. He got a specific <laughs> situation. He's saying everything right but now. that. Let me just let tell me, us the name. Yeah, bro. yeah, I hear you. But uh, let me turn it around. Let me turn it around. So if someone does complain about their chair, right? Right. First of all. Why don't you assess the chair yourself first? Maybe. Then if you get to a problem, you, you, um, then. (laughs) (laughs) When you get. Go ahead, Wood. When you. (laughs) When you get to a problem, then you might let the shop manager know. Okay. But if you want someone to take you seriously, right, and you want to take ownership in the future of the shop maybe solve the problem on your own so the owner can look at you and be like hey this is who i want to work with this is who i want to team up with and open up more shops with sometimes you have to take matters in your own hands because you do rent the chair you do rent your space so take care of the space and just when you utterly cannot fix it on your own don't complain, I'm but about, ask I pay how can I? Eight hundred dollars for a week, for a month for a chair that's broken. Yeah, but and it's like, bro. Were you given a broken you, chair? Were you broken? Maybe I don't know. Like I, then maybe you have other I, issues. maybe it was something I didn't know. Like, you know, we had a chair that didn't lean back or something crazy, right? It's like you told me I wasn't a GMB. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, come on, man, you gotta get this chair to work. I was like, man, you like, no, I just it was in the heat of the moment. I, I like. If if there's a problem in the shop, like with chairs, or whatever, I do whatever it takes to get it fixed. Right. That's all I'm saying. But you, but you the owner. Rather I gotta replace it. <clears throat> rather I gotta. It. But like me, I literally have bought my own chair and just rented the station. But not yeah. everybody like that. Like like that that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm talking about that's a boss I'm move. Saying, but, yeah. but I say, even if is. you pass the receipt 100%, 100% on, one hundred percent. Even good. if you pass it on to the owner, like hey bro, one hundred percent a boss move. They go to the receipt. If you don't give me the money, that's cool. It's just my chair. I'm just using it. But if you want to buy it from me. I, you can you can pay for and, it, and, and that's what I've said. In, but there's in the some shop. people that just they just not DNA. Right, 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 right. So like and that don't make them not ambitious. It they does, still, it, they're not, not ambitious. Not well, yeah, that's a little over the over uh, over excelling. Exactly, exactly, exactly. How often do you see it? Dude, there's not many, many people that many even times? probably uh, would do me, that. Let bro. me let me say that. on the simplest form. Don't complain to me about we don't have paper towels or toilet paper when we have a 7-Eleven across the street. I've told Barbara all the time, if I'm not around, go ahead and buy it and just give me the receipt. Man, if you don't go to that store and, and, yo, if you go to the next door to go use the bathroom instead of just... That are just wow. going. <laughs> Who's doing that? Is Yo, I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> hey, you I'm just saying, like, with none of this, <laughs> like, that's you just, just the happen- ultimate form of children, <laughs> man. You got a bunch of kids together, man. Nobody <laughs> want to do nothing, hey, bro. I mean, so it happens. Person. What are you gonna do at the house? You just not gonna buy it at the house too? You just like, if nah, there's no that. trash bags, you just yeah. put it inside the garbage without a trash bag in it. I've seen Who it. does this? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me, like? Dog, like yeah. just <laughs> yeah, we all the trash bags. I'm gonna just <laughs> throw well, shit in here. Well, and, and, so and, instead and, of getting to that level, if I just talk to somebody instead, no, of, no, 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 we ain't got no trash bags. Oh. Somehow, 
like we're we're highlighting all the things that people don't no, do. No, 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 and no. And that was like last no, this, episode. This, this, but this was just, right. this was we're just, trying to no, talk about exact, the things that just, people do just, do, though. That's, like, and that's what I'm saying. I, 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 so I, you know I, what I mean. Spent too much time on it, but that was I'm just encouraging, and I. That's what I'm saying. Like I've encouraged the barbers. So, so yeah. what, what we're doing is we're trying to be more like, oh, there's be barbers mindful. that that have you yeah. ever seen barbers? I mean, that 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 actually do. These yes, things? that's what I'm saying. Okay, I mean, so I, that's what I was getting to. That it doesn't happen anymore <laughs> because I've encouraged them to okay. just buy it and give me the receipt. There we go. Take and action. at the end of the week on your booth rent, it'll be deducted. Right, right, Simple. right. Simple. So it doesn't happen that Take anymore. An that's what I'm saying. Take an action. That's it. Dope. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was basically saying. I mean, that's very some, positive it's, for it's a some, shop, man. Yeah. It some keeps everything yeah. flowing, keep everybody some motivated. Yeah. And it also yeah. allows them to My bad, I mean. to take ownership. It allows them to show you that they can handle yeah. things. Yeah. That's all. To to just show uh some type of initiative yeah. that you 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 have potential to own your own business one day or whatever the case is. My but, my favorite thing also is to buy a randomly lunch. For them, or Jumbo Juice or something. Yeah. Just when when we're all busy, I look around. Every That's a nice gesture. Because I see everyone is busy. Not everyone can take lunch right now. That's dope. Do you ask just, them? I don't. You don't ask, ask everybody I what just, they want. I no. I you just, just go and buy a pizza and bring pizza. it back. Pizza, yeah. Uh, get it delivered. I don't eat pork. I'll make sure because I know who I'm, doesn't I'm eat messaging. pork. I know who doesn't eat I'm pork. Messaging. And you so, don't eat cheese, so yeah. You can't. So. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just saying I know uh, certain people's restrictions, and I order accordingly. So mm. that's it. And that's I, what's up. when the food comes, I'm like, it's for you guys. Lunch. It just it just brings good coach, like bring yeah, good yeah, attitude. good vibes. Back to that system, you know, when you start yeah. sweeping up for cash, and especially yeah. if I'm booked and someone eats and they're bringing me food, I appreciate that for real. Because I'm yeah. not leaving. I'm there, like you said, start to close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No breaks. So and I know when it's going to happen, too, because it's always those busy days, like back to school days, mm -hmm. the Christmas cuts, the Easter. Easter cuts. Just know to expect. I just know for myself, I might order lunch for them. Yeah, it's going to be busy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, how like just to kind of wrap everything up, how does all of this add up for a barber? What's the benefit of being so ambitious to... Uh, is it very? Is it that effective? Yeah, Y'all believe that it really does mean that much more yeah. when you're trying to be busy? Because it's yeah. consistency. It builds reliability. It builds for someone to, to count on you. Yeah. Yes. You. The thing is, our job is so 100% commission based, and I want to have stability in my career. So, if I can build stability all the way around. Every day I'm busy. So, in other words, mm. it's impossible to not be successful yeah. if you're ambitious. If you're doing all of that, man. I'm it's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then we're not even talking like... So, I, <clears throat> another thing about ambition board was I wanted to add to that was, like, you're always constantly trying to grow. Like, you're watching videos still. You're watching... you pay paying attention to that type of stuff. If you're doing all those things in addition to all the things we already mentioned, yeah, I, I think that... It, at least maybe not right now or maybe not in the next three weeks. You might not be booked, but, like, eventually this, yeah. this is going to have to give, bro. You're breaking. Yeah, yeah the levy right. will break. Yeah, I think yeah. if you uh, if you got people in the shop that's not on that, you got to link up with the ones that are, you know, and just do your thing together because it's hard if everybody ain't on the same page, you know. If the shop, if everybody's trying to be that person and the shop looking good and we looking good as a unit, yeah, we all going to eat. Yeah. yeah. But it's hard to yeah, look good at the shop if some, like you said, back to the last episode, maybe they don't want. 15 cuts, maybe they only want there you go. seven yeah. or eight, you yeah. know? So yeah. that person's going to affect the other guy that's trying to do the most because he got a different vision. I'm always saying? curious about that. Like, why don't people want to... I'm always I curious. Think... Like, I'll see a barber cutting for like three, four years and they just never content, get... Content, man. They're content. They don't... I don't know. Yeah, it's like... There are some people that just I always want to do the bare minimum. Yeah. And I can yeah. always see yeah, the, the like things that... that that, that they do that would create those results though. Yeah. And that's why you look at them, that's a perspective. So the, this, I foresee them as lazy because I'm like, you could be doing so much more, but it's not lazy because they don't lazy. really want more for themselves. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Right. So you can't 
replace what you yeah. want. Right. I want more yeah. for you, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I see I I, you could have more, yeah. but you, only, don't want, you don't want that. The only way you can look at them that way is if they complain that they're not yeah, getting yeah, yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. If you can be like... Yeah. 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 Isn't it funny that you notice it even more when you're an owner because you have to assess so much? Mm-hmm. You constantly look at your entire deck of cards. Your I don't even think it's been owner. I think it's like longevity. When you see so many turnover of new people and what works and what doesn't, you just got a good idea of what's supposed to be happening, you know what I'm saying? What yeah. doesn't work, you know? You see so many different people and their personalities and yeah. how they conduct their business. I'm not going to lie, Why not bro. turning over people? There's been I mean? people that surprise the shit out of me, though, over yeah. the years. Yeah. Like, I, I'll like be like, like, I don't see it. I don't see it. And all work. of a sudden, I, over time, you just be like, damn, bro, I wouldn't expect anybody to be yeah. this efficient, you know? And vice so, versa, yeah. too. It's even obviously the other way, too. So like, yeah, they come in, you yeah. know, with this. Killing right out the gate. Jumping around, and you know what I'm saying? Around. Like, so excited to to start, and then you just notice like, damn, this guy is not that motivated not it, not to get popping. I I don't necessarily help barbers when they first come on. You just evaluate them. I, for a I'll while. just let them ride, and then because I'd rather throw you out with the wolves and see if you can handle it, because I'm not just gonna give free advice constantly and you're not taking it. I'm not going to make my day harder when you're not even appreciating it. So mm-hmm. if you need help, I'm here. I'll let you know I'm here. But I'm not going to overextend myself. There you go. There we go. Cool. There you guys have it. Yep. Best thing to do is uh get on your grind so you can shine. Gems. And if ain't nobody else doing it, just do it yourself for real. Mess. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Killing shit. Yep. Yeah. Bye. All right, we'll holler at y'all. That concludes this week's episode. Tune in next week and check us out at thebarbergame.com.